Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat. Now, if you've been enjoying the daily content that I upload here on the channel, not only should you click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell, but I've also got a free Halloween-themed live stream concert coming up. It's on Friday, October 30th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here on the channel. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hope to see everybody there. Today I'm going to be looking at and giving you guys my first impressions on the Analog Cases Glide Case for the Korg Volkas. Now really quick, I am just gonna state that while Analog Cases did provide me with this case to look at for you guys, all thoughts and opinions expressed in this video are my own. Of course, here at Freebeat, a good review or overview cannot be bought or bribed, it must be earned. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So right off the bat, I'm noticing this is a much thicker glide case than the other two I've looked at. Those, of course, being the glide case for the OPZ and the case that I'm currently working on a full review for right now, which is the Teenage Engineering Pocket Operator case. You'll see that this one here is a lot thicker, and that's, of course, because the Korg Volkas are a lot taller of an instrument than the OPZ or a Pocket Operator. So just like the other glide cases, there is a bit of flex to it. However, analog cases reached out to me and let me know that this goes away over time. They use a molded EVA foam that goes inside the case and it actually gets harder over time. So I was curious and I grabbed my OPZ case, which I've had since last Christmas, and sure enough, it's much, much harder. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. Let's see if we can do like a flex test, but yeah, the, the glide case for the uh, Volkas has a lot more flex to it. So that's pretty cool. That just means that the longer you have the case, the more effective it's going to be. So I thought I'd get that out of the way here. Now, because this is a much deeper case, it does have a much deeper pouch. Um, and both sides of the inside are lined with that, uh, that kind of soft felt um, material. It doesn't look like it's deep enough to fit the power supply. We'll tackle that in the full review. If you don't know how my reviews work here, basically I do an overview and first impressions video, and then we do a full review after I've actually had some time to, you know, use it and develop an opinion. But aside from that, it looks pretty similar to the other ones. You do have the reinforced uh, material here on the hinge. Looks like they've yep, added that extra stuff, the extra stitching on the inside as well on the hinge there. Same branding on the front, same branding on the zipper with the, the thicker metal on there too. Awesome, so let's go ahead, toss a Korg Volca in there and see how it fits. So here I've got my Korg Volca keys. Oh, that fits really nicely actually, really nicely. Let's go ahead and Oh, I'm going to say right off the bat, this is the best fitting case that I've used from analog cases so far. With the OPZ case, uh, you kind of have to have a cable or two in there to get it to uh, completely, you know, just sit perfectly. It'll shake a little bit. But this guy, I mean, God, I'm, I'm shaking that thing and it's, it's not moving. My monitor cable even got into the shot there. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing that's because of how tall the uh, play mode and the octave selector go. Um, I mean, they're like almost touching the top of it. But yeah, this is secure in there. That's not going anywhere. That's really cool to see. Looks like all four corners pinch in there really nicely, yet it still comes out with ease. Awesome. Let's toss, uh, I don't know, let's toss something in here. Here we go. We'll toss a pair of uh, eighth inch cables. I think these are both six footers. Get them in there. Oh yeah, there's, there's plenty of room. Here we go, we'll toss a camera battery, old thumb drive. Let's see, what, what else can we throw in there? Here we go, we'll toss in the camera lens cap. Uh, yeah, that's probably enough. Let's see, it looks like there might be a little bulge right there. Oh, I see. So if you do put bulky stuff in there, you do need to position it a little better. This camera battery right here is having a hard time finding a good spot. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. It was sideways in there. Yeah, look at that. No bulge at all. It looks great. Cool. Yeah, I would definitely be okay taking this and throwing it in a backpack, something like that, traveling with it and whatnot. Awesome. Yeah, and that's a lot of stuff in there too. I mean, I fit all of this stuff in there, no problem, and the Volca was still just fine, completely safe, and uh, yeah, cool. I really like that fit. 
So due to the Halloween show, I am traveling quite a bit between me and my friend's house. I started walking a lot and using a backpack um, and transporting some of my uh, more pocket-sized instruments to uh, work on music. Of course, the Volca can run on batteries, so that's pretty cool. I'll be uh, traveling with this back and forth quite often, as I have with my pocket operator case and my uh, OPZ, and I will let you know how this thing holds up. And remember, that flex that you're seeing right there should go away with time so that's pretty cool that's another reason why i like to do an overview video as well as a review video because a review should take time whereas an overview video can be done right away so i hope you guys enjoyed this one i hope you're looking forward to the full review of the analog cases glide case for the korg volka series if you are go ahead and leave a like on this video if not you can leave a dislike that's okay too doesn't hurt my feelings just makes me try that much harder next time Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.